today I'm going to do a shadow box. I've been carrying around my son's Cub Scout shirt. Let's see, he's 40 now, and he was probably in the Cub Scouts when he was 38. Excuse me, when he was eight. So I've been carrying this around for 32 years. So I thought maybe it's time to make a shadow box first. First thing I want to do is stiffen up the shirt. So I'll put a piece of cardboard in there. So we'll draw that out. And I'll cut that out. I have this piece of plexiglass, so this is going to be my size of the shadow box. So let's start working on that. And for the box itself, I'm going to make it out of 2 by 4 I think this will work. I plan to make the shadow box 24 inches by 18, 18 by 24 inches. So what is that? Let's see. It's approximately, what, that's seven feet. So I'll cut this off, seven feet. Eight inches, 92 inches. Give me a little leeway. Well, the first thing I want to do for my shadow box is put a rabbit along the edge of the two by four. And then rather than wait till it's cut down a bigger one time straight through. And because of the limited amount of tools I have, I don't have my my rabbiting bit with the bearing on the bottom that would hold against the edge. So what I've done is take another two by four. I'm going to use that as my straight edge. So I've got a half inch router bit here, and I'll make a couple passes. And if I measured right, I'll get my rabbit. The reason for the rabbit is. This will be the back of the shadow box and I'll put a piece of plywood on the back and it'll be recessed. So let's give that a shot. Well, I just finished three passes and this is a sample of a plywood that I'll use for the back. And that'll work out just right. Fit right in there. Well, next up, I need to make a groove on the opposite side of my rabbit. And this will hold the plexiglass. Well, after experimenting a couple things, I found my quarter inch router bit was too big, so I tried this. 
I thought maybe the curve for my saw blade would be thick enough. So I cut a groove in the test board. See, it fits. A little, little tight, but it fits. And once I take off the plastic protective coating, that should fit right in there. Good. Excellent. So now I'll set it up for the uh, one I need to cut. I don't have my miter saw or my table saw handy, so I'm going to use my circular saw to cut my 45s. got the two sides now cut. Cut the plexiglass in so it's easier to measure for the top and bottom now. Hey, so far so good. This is what I have. My angles came out pretty good for just a hand circular saw. Not too bad. But I miscalculated the four pieces I needed. I'm short that much. Darn it. First mistake I made, let's see, how oh, in the last five minutes. Oh well. So I'll just get another board and start one more time, get that cut. On to that. Well, now I got the sides cut and they seem to fit together pretty well. Time to sand. And I've got the back cut. I did that. I had some scrap I had. And that'll square it up real nice. Well, with the sides made now, I have to make sure that it fits the size of the box, and it does. We'll just staple it to the board. Okay, let's put the box together. And I'm gonna use the back without stapling that in yet to square it up to make sure it all lines up. Looks good. Put some glue on it. And to hold it in place, I'm gonna use some staples. And 
before we get too much further along, put a piece of flex plexiglass in before we put the fourth piece on. Look at that. Right in there. Goodness gracious, I did. Look at that. Wow. It worked out just like as if I knew what I was doing. Oh, I even have a couple photos of my son wearing his uh, Cub Scout uniform back in the day. I'll even include those on there. I'm going to spray some spray adhesive on the back. I'll put them on. Well, there you have it. My version of a shadow box. Got my son's Cub Scout shirt in there, a couple pictures. Not too bad for a couple, just a couple two by fours. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next project.